What's going on guys? Today we're checking out the Troy Lee Designs Carbon D3 MIPS Nightfall. Um, funny story how I actually got this helmet. I ordered a composite helmet off Chain Reaction, uh, their deepest discount navy one, and this showed up. So I'll take the upgrade, but uh, let's get in the bag and check this thing out. Obviously one of the awesome features of the, hel of the uh, helmet itself is it comes in this nice gear bag that, uh, you know, it they don't have to do it. I, Probably won't use it a whole lot, but uh, you know, it's good to have. So let's get this thing cracked open out of the gate. I like that. Spare visor. You can never have too many of those. And then the helmet itself. Oh, look at that thing, eh? Sweet. You know, I've owned, uh, oh, geez, half a dozen Troy Lee Designs helmets over the years. And you know, one thing that I really, really, really like about them is the attention to detail and all the detailing in and around the lid. Uh, you know, the paint is super thick yet light. It's well designed. You know, some of it looks like a, you know, blind kid would only love it, but uh, you know, others aren't bad. So if we take the, if we start at the visor and we start working our way down here, we can start seeing all the detail work. And then finally on the bottom, Nightfall right on the back. So I'll just zoom that out so you guys can get a full view of it. Pretty sweet little back section. And then that continues around to the sides where you have whatever the hell those are, feathery things, tie bolts, Troy Lee logo on the visor, and let's not forget about that complete hideous neon front so all your buddies can identify you as that guy on the trail. One of the things that a lot of people don't realize is just how well vented this helmet is. Uh, things like on the top, as well as on the jaw protector, uh, jaw protector area, you can see there's three on the, on the chin, as well as two on each side of the uh, main chin area. And then above the eye line area, where your goggles would sit, you can see there's even more intake for air. Uh, you know, it's gonna keep the inside of it really cool. Like, you gotta remember, it's not just about breathing out hot air and keeping cool that way. It's also about intaking cold air to cool the inside compartment. On the liner of the helmet, we can see uh, it's all, you know, whatever material, I don't know, look it up on the Troy Lee site. Uh, it's soft, it's comfortable, and it wicks uh, sweat off your head. That's all you really need to know. Uh, I believe, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe we've got titanium uh, D-ring straps here. So there's no quick release. It's all about safety and strength with the certifications that it has, as well as these pieces here for pulling out the liner in the event of a crash. Uh, you just give it a tug, it undoes some Velcro, and that way you can take the helmet off without uh, potentially causing damage to whoever's wearing it. So here we are on the inside of the chin bar. You can see this red, uh, whatever it is, red strip, you know, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, it's more padding, you know. They don't have to include that, but you know, if you have a crash and all of a sudden your teeth are hitting plastic, it would hurt a lot more. So, that, you know, they, they want to make sure you're covered, right? So they put this on the inside of the, uh, the jaw protector or chin bar, whatever you want to call it. As well, you know, going back to my earlier point about intake and flow into the helmet, well, that's got to go somewhere as well. So on the back, you can see these vents, uh, what did I count? Two, four, five of them. Um, there could be more, I don't know, whatever. Um, these are, these are exhaust vents, so cool air in, hot air out, your head is going to feel nice and protected, nice and cool uh, with all that airflow that's taking place. And uh, that's really it. You know, they've been out for a while, some great reviews. Um, you know, I, I dig that the liner can come right out so I can basically just have a new helmet each ride if I really wanted to. You know, take it out, wash it, put it back in. Um, yeah, really impressed with it so far. Don't plan on using it anytime soon in terms of crank, uh, cranking my head into the ground. But uh, you know, in the event something does happen, it's nice to have that extra pr protection and uh, some certifications above and beyond what a bicycle helmet requires. So thanks for coming by and we'll, uh, we'll catch you next time. Later.